Hi my friends navigators, now I will share with my experience at the same time with workflow of fuel oil tank leakage by reason of excessive rust of a fuel tank bulkhead. I would like to ask you to support my channel and watch this video until very end and thank you in advance. So let's go. It happened in my present company two years ago while my serving on container ship 6500 Teos. It was a regular day at ocean and uh, we were sailing from Europe to United States and the uh, number 4 cargo hold bilge starboard side alarm had risen. Aware that the prominent fuel oil tank concerns to cargo hold number 4, we checked visually bilge and it was discovered that the bilge is full with heavy fuel oil and its level quite swiftly rises up on the tank top of the cargo hold. Of course it was no any talks about pumping out bilges overboard to avoid pollution. And uh, first what we did that was leased to the starboard side and after conducted risk assessment and stability calculation, chief engineer immediately started fuel transferring from problematic fuel tank to another one. Later investigated that the fuel comes from bulkhead hole caused by heavy rust hole in diameter is about 5 mm, what you see now, and the general bay plan just for overview. And it was under strong fuel gravity pressure uh, judging by container in front of the hole. You can see as well <laughs> this happiness, let's say. Of course, company and uh, our superintendent was notified with um, perfect news and the next port was Charleston and further rotation was expected Miami, Veracruz, uh, then Altamira, Mexico, then Houston, uh, New Orleans and uh, it had to go back to the Europe. And uh, all information were provided to our company after respective company staff uh, discussion meeting we got instructions to proceed with next steps and um, as much possible clean up accessible spaces uh, car called galleries as you see now and uh, was not only lower part affected uh, because of ballast and fuel tanks configuration uh, specified form also bulkhead between base were isolated uh, to avoid the uh, spreading of uh, fuel and the severe leakage will pump out with uh, air pumps to drums on the main deck. Uh, our car hold had uh, nine decks as I remember, maybe plus minus one. I don't remember exactly, two years past as I mentioned and uh, we transferred that pump out fuel to the sludge tank. Of course uh, barriers will set up by SAPEP booms, um, pads, etc. And highly important barrier for port side bilge as well. Uh, we were using the cement. You can see this now. Yeah, um, fortunately nothing came in. So this was maybe one of the good news <laughs> with it that days. And the uh, proofs uh, were provided to United States authorities uh, that we nothing pump out and uh, our bilge system is not contaminated with this fuel. And uh, upon arrival we drop anchor on Charleston Roads where BV surveyor attended. First what authorities and class society were thinking that it was some structural damage uh, for unknown reason and uh, they came with inspection of course to make sure in opposite what we reported and then we sailed as it is to the Mexico it means we passed the Charleston like it is because port of discharge certain bay was uh, Houston and Altamira and clean boxes with port of discharge Houston as you see now we were discharged in the Vera Cruz and dirty ones we were moved on deck for washing while upcoming sea passage and some of them were cleaned at the very lifting. 
After arrival to the Altamira, remaining dirty containers were lifted and uh, hauled up for a while by a crane driver, and the crew quickly cleaned them while cargo operations. All been, yeah, as I mentioned, within cargo operations, it was a huge management to arrange this. Maybe for guys who are not aware, uh, one move, extra move, caused by reason of ship side owner yeah it cost about 400 euro and then crew proceeded to clean up the cargo hold and after completion starboard side bilge was cleaned up uh, rigorous with environment solution to later on pump out yeah to do not uh, damage let's say our environment sea and ocean it's just this solution safe for environment and uh, kills let's say this residue of oil and next stage was uh, UTM technicians uh, they came and they they perform measurement of steel thickness on affected and nearby areas and they issued report because we need some point of let's say support for further investigation and the proper planning of welding jobs to eliminate this bloody leakage and when we arrived in Houston this cargo hold was normally loaded uh, of course uh, we kept away 30 minutes over I mean around yeah no any DG from intended point of welding of course rows 11 and 13 we kept as well free for plant welding jobs and uh, what I can suggest to you to avoid similar situation uh, since it was for me quite uh, stressful <laughs> now I talk about it you know like uh, children relaxed yeah and for the time really I remember it was a bit hard to be honest uh, if you work in a company with old vessels I mean about uh, older than 10 years let's say I would uh, advise you to check more frequently cargo hold bilges, usually daily soundings to be done and the weekly visual check at the same time with test bilge alarm to be carried out. Likely for us we discovered quite fast this leakage and uh, did proper actions. As I remember it was about 900 tons in the tank and can you imagine what could happen if we overlook it? Oh my god, it's about, I think, uh, at least 300 tons of fuel could go inside in the cargo hold. It would be really casualty. And for your information, my intention for the future is to make video with continuation this situation concerning its repairs, I mean class welding jobs. From your side, I just need a strong feedback, uh, the latest one was unsure. Keep subscribe and activate the bell on my channel. Like, share, comment this video and see you then. All the best. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.